It's the NFL on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Panthers and the Cardinals coming up next. Some of those in the silver-haired community would say it's a great day for golf, and it is, don't get me wrong, but we say it's a great day for football, and the roof is wide open here in Glendale at State Farm Stadium. So this was the scene a moment ago. The Cardinals emerging from their tunnel, and we are ready for football as the Cards get set to match up with the Carolina Panthers. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. And CD, you look at the Cardinals in this matchup, you figure they've got to be looking forward to this one. They've got a clear advantage on the offensive side of the ball. Yeah, and they totally understand it, not just by running the numbers, but those numbers do play into it because you've got one of the better passing offenses in the league, a top 10 unit, going up against one of the poor defenses in the league. So I think we're going to see these guys take some shots downfield. But right from the start, I expect them to attack and get right after them. Looking to throw. He'll buy some time right. And he will find the open man. It's DJ Moore. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. As a general rule, offensive linemen like to know where their quarterback's going to be when he's setting up to throw the football. But sometimes they just have to get on the run, get on the move. He was able to do that on that play and picks up a first down with a nice throw. Rolling to his left. Now he'll let it go on the run. Deep left side. And it'll be caught in the end zone for the Carolina touchdown by D.J. Moore. Quite a show of arm strength right there. That was in the air for a long time, and it was on target, too. And we knew that this offense was going to try and put pressure on the secondary. That was something they talked about with us. They knew that they had an advantage, pressed it, and there you go. Big play for a touchdown on their very first. He'll look to throw, rolling to his right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. That's caught inside the 20. Touchdown, Carolina. DJ Moore with his second touchdown of this opening quarter. And the Panthers strike quickly here for six points. Not even two minutes into this football game, already we've had two scores. You know how much I like to read about teams of old, right? The, the teams of yesteryear. There were some teams that were known as the point-of-minute teams. Well, obviously in a 60. Back to throw. Steps away. And now he'll let this one go deep. Back over the middle. And that's caught inside the 30. Touchdown, Panthers. D.J. Moore doing it again with his third touchdown here in the opening quarter. And the Panthers strike quickly here for six points. Well, I don't think you... They'll come out throwing here on first down. Steps away to his left. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. And bulldozing his way through. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. Well, Christian McCaffrey is as tough to bring down as they come at the running back position, and he proved it right there. Yeah, and this could be a sign of what this defense is in for because you know all week long the coaches were preaching to the defense. You've got to be able to wrap up against a back like him or he can make you pay. Technique, technique, technique. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. 
A handoff, McCaffrey running right. He pushes forward for maybe three down to the six-yard line. He's hit pay dirt a lot this year, but not that time. Yeah, I'm tracking right there with you. You're exactly right. He's bound the end zone plenty of times. No way I can find any fault with the call. He may not have scored there, but of course you're going to give it to him. And the Panthers are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Well, this has certainly been a nice drive with the way they've spread the football around. Here, they even get the fullback involved in the passing game. And he takes it into the end zone for the Panthers' touchdown. Don't stop that moment. It's their quarterback taking it in. And the Panthers, they widen their lead. Keep getting busy. And maybe the defense caught a little by surprise there that he took off and got in? Yeah, I would think so, because if you're analyzing it from that side of the ball, you're thinking running back, Full back. <laughs> Takes you a while before you get to the quarterback. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. An entertaining start to this one. More to come on EA Sports. Gets past one man. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. 50 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. This is McCaffrey on the give. Again, he finds an opening. Touchdown, Carolina! Christian McCaffrey with touchdown. They'll set up to throw, out to his left. Throwing the out route incomplete, it's Moore. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work Let's it go, across go. midfield. Let's just call it what it is. This has been a flat out struggle for this defense all game long. They've really had a hard time slowing them down. And while I'm not big on speeches and guys jumping up and down, they might need their team leader. And he will take it across for a Panthers touchdown. Now a handoff here to his running back. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Forced out to his left. He's going to look deep for more. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. And he takes go, it all baby. the way down to the 28-yard line. Now whistles here, and it looks like we've got a Panther that's having some difficulty down there getting up. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. They're going to try the jet sweep. Robinson with it. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. I think the reason that this play is so successful is not just the blocking at the point of attack, but how about the speed at which he takes the handoff? He's in motion already, so he's not coming from a flat start like a running back often is. He's at a full run by the time he gets the football. They're going to try the jet sweep. Robinson with it. And they're going to lose some on this play. Being knocked back to the 18. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. That's the danger, Charles, of running plays like this for your wide receiver. They can hit big, or they can be duds. Yeah, you're exactly right about that, because if they're forced to try and go around defenders behind the line of scrimmage, sometimes you can give yardage in order to gain it. But in this case, they gave yardage, 
and didn't get it back. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. Their mobile quarterback one. with his second. Now a play fake here on first down. They'll roll him out right. Open receiver, that's Hayden Hurst, the tight end. Good work, boys, let's go. Let's yeah, with that go. completion, he's now north of 200 yards here in the first half. Boy, a tough start for the secondary defensively. It is, and it's got to put a dent in their confidence. And, you know, you always want to keep that up and feel like you can always bounce back after plays. But with the kind of numbers he's putting up here, it's starting to wear on them a little bit, I think. So they're looking at each other and trying to figure out what defense will work and how can they play better without getting beat deep for big passes. So we come upon halftime. Intermission here with a bit. And now due to They'll drop to throw, eluding the pressure right. He finds Robinson. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. But slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. Now the throw pulled in by Anderson. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. That catch good for five. It's third down. He'll look to throw. Flushed out right. And this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down. They go play action here on first down. Being chased out left. This one complete to his fullback out of the backfield. And he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds. Second and five, sliding out of the pocket. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. They'll look to throw here on first down. On the move to his left. Now he'll let it go on the run. Deep left side. And it'll be caught in the end zone for the Carolina touchdown by D.J. Moore. D.J. Moore, 58 yards. And the Panthers are able to extend their lead in the final seconds of this third quarter. McCaffrey, and this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Ball on the 30, they'll come up with a second and five. They stay on the ground, McCaffrey again, and he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what, it brings up third down. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Yeah, this is going to be a Panthers first down as the tackle made just shy of the 40. I know this game's winding down and people are getting tired, and that's when you really want a big body guy running the football. But I have to tell you, watching him run it, I wonder why they don't use it more earlier in the game. Yeah, those bigger guys here late in the game, you're trying to protect the lead, usually not as fumble prone either. No, that is so true because they are taught take care of the ball as you surge forward, and you often see them with both hands wrapped around it when they go through the line. It's a five-yard game, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. Now a quick hitter with a fullback arma. And he will have the first down as he's brought down up near midfield. 
third and one, who are you going to call? Not the scat back. You go with the big man, hand him the ball, and let him get upfield and pick up a first down. And he'll get it across midfield and down into Cardinal territory. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. And now a carry here for their fullback. Call it a gain of five there on the run, but they'll remain a yard or two short here with third down coming up. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Panther football as we welcome you back. They've got a third down now as they look for one more first down to help salt this one away. There's a lot of good on that play when we see the big fella take it and rumble into the secondary. But how about the big part of it, taking care of the football. He doesn't carry it very often, but when he does, he's got to make sure that he doesn't get it popped free. Unlike Mike Tolbert in Super Bowl 50, carrying the ball, ball popped free, turnover, and it hurt his team. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. They'll run it here. This is their fullback getting the carry. A good display of power, but it will only get him just inside the five to the four. Four yards remain for second down. They'll try and run with their fullback. They had tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. And that was a good collision right there. And I know this as a former defender. If you're playing linebacker, you're going through a checklist on every play on who you think is going to get the ball and where you think the ball is going to go. Rarely do you expect the fullback position to get it. And on that play, he did. So you've got to steal yourself at that point because the contact is going to be strong. Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So for the Panthers, the win gets them back over 500 at 5-4 five and four on the year. And they'll get another road date next week as their opponents will be the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Meanwhile, for Arizona, they are barely afloat as they fall to 4-5. and five. And they're going to get an extra week to stew over this as they're not back in action until week 11.